Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, Memphis Grizzlies vs. Dallas Mavericks and Milwaukee Bucks vs. Orlando Magic, which are happening on Tuesday, May 11, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out my Patreon in the link down below. My new Patreon is a way for me to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. Now I am going to start off by talking about Memphis Grizzlies vs Dallas Mavericks match. The Dallas Mavericks 40-28 are first in the Southwest Division and more importantly fifth in the Western Conference standings one game ahead of the sixth place Portland Trail Blazers and two games ahead of the seventh place Los Angeles Lakers. Dallas needs to keep winning in order to remain in the top of six seedings and guarantee a postseason berth without needing to take part in the play-in tournament. Dallas has won four straight and eight of the last ten. The Mavericks defeated Cleveland 124-97 on Sunday even though leading scorer Luka Doncic was ejected for a flagrant foul. Memphis is 34th, 33rd and 9th in the Western Conference standings. The Grizzlies are a half game behind the 8th place Golden State Warriors and lead the 10th place San Antonio Spurs by two games. The Grizzlies are 5-5 straight up over the last 10 games played. Memphis will be completing a back-to-back -back when hosting Dallas on Tuesday after playing at home on Monday against the New Orleans Pelicans. Dallas won their fourth straight and seventh in the last eight games as they pummeled Cleveland on the road to sweep the home at home set. The Mavericks entered Monday with the Southwest Division title already clinched. In the Western Conference playoff picture, the team stood fifth, ten games behind the Jazz for the top spot, two games ahead of the seventh place Lakers in a battle for a guaranteed playoff spot and have clinched at least a spot in the play in tournament. Against Cleveland, Dallas used an early 8-0 run to break a 5-5 tie and never looked back. Memphis was in action at home Monday night as they hosted New Orleans in a game that is important for both squads in regards to the playoff race. The Grizzlies entered Monday second in the Southwest Division, 5.5 games behind the Mavericks for the top spot in the division. In the Western Conference playoff picture, the team was ninth. The Grizzlies are pretty much locked into the play-in tournament as they would have to win out and get a ton of help to get into the top six. Dallas has won four straight entering this one and they had Monday off after whipping Cleveland Thursday and Sunday. The Mavericks are missing Porzingis but Hardaway Jr. has stepped up big of late, adding a reliable three-point shooting threat to their offensive attack. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Dallas Mavericks plus 1.5. Tim Hardaway Jr. led the team with 25 points on 9 of 13 shooting, Josh Richardson added 20 points while Jalen Brunson chipped in with 13 points and 7 assists off the bench. As a team, the Mavericks shot 53% from the field and 15 of 39 from the three-point line as they poured in 39 points in the first quarter to take the early lead. D before outscoring the Cavaliers by 34-19 in the third quarter where the lead ballooned out in the absence of Luka Doncic who scored 15 points with 5 assists before getting ejected. Dylan Brooks led the team with 23 points, Jonas Valanciunas added 20 points with 11 rebounds and 5 blocks while John Morant and Yaron Jackson Jr. each scored 12 points. As a team, the Grizzlies shot 49% from the field and 9 of 30 from the three-point line as they came out hot with 71 points in the first half, before holding the Pelicans to just 22 points in the fourth quarter to escape with the narrow win after squandering a 14-point lead. The Mavericks are 4-0 ATS in their last four road games and 4-0 ATS in their last four games overall. The Grizzlies are 11-5 ATS in their last 16 home games and 20-9 ATS in their last 29 games overall. 
the over is 4-0 in Mavericks' last four road games. The under is 35-16 in Grizzlies' last 51 home games. The Mavericks are 5-2 ATS in the last seven meetings in Memphis. My second betting advice for that game is to pick under. The Magic were down 30 points by halftime as they got crushed 128-96 against the Minnesota Timberwolves on Sunday night. RJ Hampton scored a career-high 19 points off the bench for Orlando while third-year guard Dwayne Bacon chipped in with 18. The Magic closed out their home schedule, finishing 11-25 on the year. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been doing his best MVP impersonation for the Bucks this season. The seventh-year superstar has averaged 28.2 points per game, 11.1 rebounds per game, and an equally impressive 5.9 dimes. Giannis has been very efficient on the offensive end, shooting 56.4% on the year. Defensively he has been in the upper echelon in steals and blocks per game, generating 1.26 blocks per contest and being the defensive linchpin for the Bucks. The Bucks have been okay in the second game of a back-to-back -back situation this season and they've owned the magic of late with six straight wins. In those games, Milwaukee's margin of victory has been 32, 9, 11, 16, 22, and 37 points. Orlando traded away their top players and they are dealing with injuries to their remaining best options. The Magic just got hammered by 32, at home, to a Minnesota team that has long been out of the playoff picture. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Milwaukee Bucks. Orlando was crushed at home by Minnesota Sunday night in their previous game for their third straight loss. The Magic have been eliminated from playoff contention, one of three teams from the Eastern Conference to be taken out of the picture entering Monday's action. Orlando led 9-7 early before giving up a 15-2 run to trail by 11 and never recovered. The Magic trailed by 15 after the opening quarter by 30 at the half and by as many as 43 as they were completely dominated by the Timberwolves. Orlando was limited to 39.6% shooting in the game, including a 9 of 36 showing from three-point range, allowed Minnesota to shoot a hot 53.8% in the game. RJ Hampton had 19 points off the bench to lead the Magic in the loss. RJ Hampton led the team with 19 points off the bench, Dwayne Bacon added 18 points while Cole Anthony chipped in with 11 points. As a team, the Magic shot just 39% from the field and 9 of 36 from the three-point line, but they knew early on that they were going to lose this one as the Timberwolves stormed out of the gates with 74 points in the first half. Giannis Antetokounmpo led the team with 28 points and 4 assists. Chris Middleton added 23 points, 7 rebounds and 5 assists while Drew Holiday chipped in with 20 points and 6 assists. As a team, the Bucks shot 50% from the field and 13 of 41 from the three-point line, but their problems were on the defensive end as they gave themselves no chance after allowing the Spurs to explode for 87 points in the first half. My second betting advice for that for that game is to pick over 228.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.